Hi guys, welcome back to Tutorial Race. And in this video, you are learning CRUD operation using PHP MySQL with object oriented feature. So, now in the last video, we created this form, and in this video, we are going to insert the data. But before that, let's create a file called function.php. So, let's create here functions.php. Inside that, we will create a class. Okay, so here let's create class class operations. Okay, not like this. O capital operations. Inside this, we will create a constructor. Okay, but before that, let's create a connection here. So this one is. Uh, the DB server localhost and user root which is uh, for this uh, you know localhost and then password is blank now here is crud our uh, database name is crud okay so now here let's create an instant uh, class variable called private private dollar con All right and then here we will write connection then let's create a constructor so you know about constructor constructor is a special function so when the object of this uh, class will be created this constructor will be automatically created and here since this is a function so if you want to access this or a variable inside a function then you, you need to use global okay then here dollar con new my SQL dollar server user name db password and db name so all this information is coming from here and if everything is fine then it will display the connect uh, if there is anything wrong then this message will say so a database to the uh, a connection to the database cannot be made now next we have created this function called insert so this is user defined function right this insert you can give it any name so inside that we have created two parameters the first one is table and second one is data okay this data and table will come from our uh, insert file okay then now this connection is here and then fields so better but before that uh, be before I explain about this code now we get back to insert page once again this one so here from method will be post and then action same page not accepted action action same page right now it's right here PHP code So if I write here, if dollar underscore post, then print underscore r, and then dollar underscore post. The benefit is that when we will insert, we will so first name Omar Rahman. An email Omar at gmail dot com password one two three four five. Now try to submit. So you can see the data is passing here as a key value format. Right? First name, Omar, last name, email and password. So now this array this key value array we will pass to this function here okay but before that let's create object of this function here in this file so let's write here require once require once to include the file 
We write here. Function start PHP. Right, and then now we will create an object. Okay. Dollar dollar obj equals to new upper array sense so what is this new operations this is the name of the class this class okay since we are including here now we will create a object of this class that is why we are using here dollar obj new operation new operations okay now here we will prepare uh, an array okay now what we have to do is that let's write here code this one so so that the data entered we will get here in a variable okay so here first name last name when we will uh, press enter then value will show here like this if you want to show this first name then you try here by inserting so just write here umar okay I'm not writing anything else so okay so, because it, it's required so need to write something at rate at rate gmail dot com password one two three four five okay so here you can see umar the name umar is passing okay so similarly all other variables will pass here and will be stored in variable now we will prepare here dollar data then equals to array and inside array we will create here key value data so the code will be something like this so what is happening here we are passing this key so these are the key okay so what are these key these key are nothing but here you can see the form control name okay let me make it smaller then you understand it better this name okay this name is actually key here this name so here we are passing this key and the value which we will enter so here it will pass the period name this period name as well as its value as an array so when you print are uh, these ones print underscore one second here print underscore r then dollar data and then press enter then you can see the key value appear so umar Rahman, admin thread gmail.com one two three four five so press it then you can see the key key value key value so this kind of pair we will pass to our function dot php file all right now let's call this function we have a function here now this one insert this insert function is there so we will call this function here in this file insert file so we will write here dollar obj since we call the function of any class with their object we have already created here object so through this object we are, go we are going to call this function so we write here insert and then as you can see here in this function we have two parameters table as well as data so table name we have to pass here and our table name is registrations Regist Registrations or registration, I believe. Let's see here. Our table name is registration. This one, right? So simply write here our table name and then data, which is we have just created this one, this data. Okay. So once this is inserted, then header, header, location location 
index or simply view index okay index dot php after inserting it will redirect the page to to you redirect the page to index dot php okay so now let's come to here so how this is working we will fill the data here okay we will fill the data here then the data will be passed here after posting it will be stored in a variable then we we are preparing here an array this, this and then we are passing that array here and table name also so that both will come here now there is a php function called array keys okay so that we can extract the keys which keys these keys first name last name password okay so we we will extract this if you want to see that how it is extracting so let me first there's no need of this one actually so after if you want to see that how what is coming here then once again print r and then see here fields okay oh sorry so now press it again then it is redirecting to index okay so let me first close it comment it for the timing so here you can see the keys right f name l name there is no value you can see because this one just keys the field name here these are just field name so we are extracting the field name so here the field name has been extracted right now you are writing a code insert into table so table name is coming here so our table name is coming from here the table name is registration so in this case it is more of like insert into table right then implode why let's just compare the code you normally write insert into registration registration then uh, you write like this and then values right values so here you write field name like f name l name right like this right so comma separated but this one as you saw is array so if you want to convert the array to a comma separated value in that case there is implode function okay so we are writing here implode function so that our field name will be more of like this like this okay that's why we are imploding with karma so this section is complete and you understand it how why we have written here array keys all right now so that is why i have written here fields okay right so fields is imploding here so that the result will be like this and after that here you can see values then once again implodes inside data there is values there is values inside data if you want to see here that what is coming inside data then you can see with print or once again so we write here data dollar data okay so once again press enter here you can see so there was line 34 okay actually this was just example so here you can see the values right so these values are getting imploded here through data so remember here for key to extracting key we had to write here like this arrays keys okay and for value we don't need to extract by default it takes values here okay so that's why we are importing here data so now it becomes more of like uh, 
insert into f name l name and then dollar uh, f name karma dollar l something like this so as you can see it is very convenient because you don't have to you don't have to you know you are creating a project then you don't need to write insert code once again, again and again this code particularly you just call this function and you never have to write your insert code it is it is a prepared code okay so it's as you can see it is very handy and it's very convenient also now let's check whether it is inserting or not so now let's go to here and check here you can see it is already inserted three records let's delete and check again by so here the first name is Umar last name Prahma it means then one two three four one two three four five now let's once again submit it and then let's check here the data is inserting perfectly so rather than writing insert code again and again you don't have to write you don't have to touch this code you just need to pass wherever you want to insert you just need to pass like this just prepare here the statement and then just write table name and then data and you don't need to write this insert into long code normally you know if you come from core php then you might have faced problem that normally you know there is problem in comma there is problem in period name okay so this you get rid of this code you know get rid of problem with this code so that is why it is very convenient i myself used uh, this code for project uh, development all right so our insert part is complete now in the next video we will work on list page because this data we will display this data we will display into our uh, view index.php file so now let's create here index.php index.php all right so here mm, in insert file let's uncheck it okay so that when the user say rajes kumar and then rajes at the rate gmail dot com and then password one two three four five when you submit it will take you to this index file since we don't have anything but it, it is inserting here since we don't have anything so far that's why it is displaying here blank so in the next video i will show you that how we will show our data in tabular format so stay connected see you in the next video bye bye